So let's say it's one in the afternoon and your family members are out at the stores and you need to charge your devices or maybe you're going to the airport and you need to figure out what you're bringing. You got your switch in its case, you got your steam deck in the bag, they're a target or wherever. And you know, what do you actually bring to charge it on your trip or what if you're in your house? Well, for you guys today, I have a few different options on chargers to go through. And don't worry, I'm gonna go in detail on what everything I have in this bag, why I've brought them here with me, why am I doing this video in the car? Cause it will make sense in the end because fastest to charge something is not the most important thing always when it comes to getting the correct charger for your device convenience reliability and safety all should be a factor so let's talk about what you should be using to charge your steam deck let's start off with the first charger right here a 45 watt charger coming directly from valve with the steam deck it has the exact outputs required to charge the steam deck while playing AAA games or more simpler games like darkest dungeon right here so you'll have absolutely no problem gaming on the go with something like this so reliability wise this will output just what you need let's talk about convenience this is not a very convenient design for plugging it into the wall and on top of that the cable is extremely short for what you might need for something like this of course you could use an extension if you want with it but that's not really as convenient if it was able to plug this cable out and plug another one in and safety wise i'm gonna be honest this has stopped working for me this is broken and i don't know why um in the sense that it is probably my fault in the sense it was dropped by my cat knocking it pulling it out because there's a short cable but i've had you know you've plugged stuff in the in the in the wall before and a cat or a dog might come by and it pulls out and it drops normally the device usually keeps on working it wasn't even plugged into the steam deck it just completely stopped working once a cat pulled it out of the wall it fell and that's it doesn't give me high hopes for the steam official charger on long-term safety just from that one fall but it is what it is so i needed to get a replacement so what can i replace it with? well there's a few if you want a wall charger for that this is a company right here third party one jsaux is the company's name and they sell a third party steam deck charger or you can use for your nintendo switch as well it has the same output capacities as the official one and it costs only a few bucks on Amazon or anywhere else like that. Same problems as this one in the sense of, well, length of the cables, quite short. You cannot pull off the end right here, so it's not going to be the best thing for being out on the go if you're going to need to do that. And it's not mm, pocket friendly, I could say. You can't close the ends in to make it convenient to put away. So good replacement if you just want to, something that's going to work as well as the official cable and it could go from there and it could work for your switch as well so let's look at probably some of the worst possible options when it comes to speed we're looking at a usb 2.0 old school charger for the car itself don't even bother with that guys you're just gonna be sitting here forever and not getting anywhere and then we have what many people have a car charger with you know q 3.0 and a 2.0 slot like these one might be able to charge your iphones and you know old samson's perfectly fine and some google pixels in the modern era pretty well they'll charge it in a few hours and to fully battery and that's work but when it comes to the steam deck if you go ahead and plug it into your steam deck you're gonna go ahead and get this message slow charger and you're not gonna be able to charge your games um your device and play your game at the same time you're gonna need to turn off the system and let it charge there probably for hours and it's gonna just be take a long time because the steam deck is gonna prioritize not keying up versus being a fast charge device let's talk about something a lot better than something like yeah these car chargers they're just not gonna be great for this now let's look at my top two for reliability safety charging speed and convenience and convenience is a big one when it comes to portable devices and these will work excellent as well for charging your phones tablets and laptops and macbooks all together so let's start off with this cable right here this is the type of length you need to charge your steam deck from a far away this is coming from the same exact company that makes the third party uh standalone steam deck and switch charger right here this company right here links in the description on amazon 
they make a good length cable with a right hand connector that easily puts right into the back of your Steam Deck and hangs over to easily charge it. And then this cable could go to any other charger you might have, like this Anchor one I have right here, or let's say um, a power station. I have an 18 watt power station that you guys saw in the thumbnail of this video. It only puts out 18 watts, so it's not going to be able to play your Steam Deck much while gaming. But if you have one of those already, and many people do have those power stations this is the option of using those power stations with something that this long right here and actually play your steam deck somewhat not fully dependent on the game you're playing and or just have it so, so you can set up for a charge at long distance this cable has been super convenient for me just because of the length and less likely that kitty will come along and um pull it off because the, the cable is too short and taut like these ones down here so i highly recommend this extended cable for your charger needs link in the description now, combine that cable with this Anchor Power Supplies. This is an Anchor Power Core 3. There's different models. This is a 60 watt model. It puts out 60 um, watts, like I said right there. There's 65, there's even higher than that. This will be more than enough to not only charge your Steam Deck, but you can start charging your switch as well you could use the usb uh c part to charge your steam deck using something long like this cable right here and then charge your switch as well using the shorter cable that comes with the anchor charger so why am i really recommending this one if you guys get the combo with the anchor power core 3 that comes with this little charger this is phenomenal one of the best charges i've ever had in my life conveniently closes up puts out 65 watts it charges up the battery pack my switch my phone anything i need to charge right now this little bad boy could charge it up in no freaking time it doesn't get too hot it doesn't take up much space in my bag or if i use it in my pocket the anchor comes with a nice little carry case that can fit both the usb cable and the charger itself this has a 1900 watt, um, 1900 uh, milliamp hours one. I didn't get the crazy big one. And I mean, it is expensive. You're gonna be looking to spend north of like $70 for something like this. But if you want to spend out the money to get this plus this charger, cause this charger is just fantastic to tackle any of your charging needs, then you're set to go. You're gonna be able to charge your stuff while playing your game on multiple devices, charge your laptop, charge your phone and play your steam deck you're set to go that's why yes you could get like for 70 dollars the 45 watt one but if you're going to be out like me where your family members might be in a store you're going to want to go ahead and get something where if you're in the car for a few bit few bit you're going to be able to charge your devices and play your game while charging your phone and you don't have to turn on your damn car and let yourself waste gas so that's my recommendation. Get something that has the same specification, if not better, with power delivery as the official Steam Deck charger. Do not get any weird, no name brand, uh, shady listings, things that's like 20 bucks that says they're 65 watts or stuff like that from Amazon. That's a power a direct uh charger most of those are gonna be lying either the milliamp hours is not gonna be safe or they're just straight up lying to you a lot of them on amazon what is really cheap are just bullshit i would not recommend it people have even bought some um battery banks and they came out to they have weights in there just to make it feel like it's heavier than it actually is buy something reliable from a name brand especially if you're putting it into hundreds of dollars of equipment your steam deck might be you know four five hundred dollars your switch might be two three hundred dollars but think about this Okay, you could lose these. They're not the most important thing. But if you're going to plug something like that, that's 20 bucks into your $2,000, $1,500, or $1,000 phone, I wouldn't trust it, guys. So buy something reliable to charge your devices from a company that you trust. So that's been my video going over charging your Steam Deck. And for me, guys, longer cable, convenience, reliability, and safety. Doesn't get too hot. It's been working durably for me for weeks and weeks now these are the things to get guys buy good brands later